for Easy E has after a battle with it. He was first admitted to a Los Angeles hospital a month ago. Rap singer Easy E has lost his battle with just 10 days after revealing that he had the disease. The 31 year old rapper last night in a Los Angeles hospital. He was hospitalized last month for what he thought was asthma and said that he did not know how he contracted. At that time, the only ones that knew I was pregnant was he and I. We got married at the hospital because he wasn't sure if he was going to make it through. I have never believed the official story of my father's I have always believed that something else happened. And I'm afraid of what that might be. I forged um, signatures, you got doctors who can't find right now, you got, you know, certificates that were altered. You, know. you say so his, his wife that he married just in his throes, uh, she had control of that account with his money missing allegedly? That's correct. In 1995, the world was about to lose a figure that was controlling the youth, the streets, and using his music to speak on things taboo to society. He was at odds with the law because he went from a gangster to a gangster millionaire as the godfather of gangster rap and the indie label CEO of Ruthless Records, which housed the legendary rap group NWA. Yo, I'm Easy e from the world's most dangerous rap group, NWA. In that time, the remnants of how black persons were negatively perceived still lingered. So for an African-American gaining this much money, power, respect, and voice throughout the world, it was a big deal. His name was Eric Wright, known globally as Compton Rapper, Eazy-E. Early 1995, Eazy-E began experiencing breathing complications as his chest was feeling unnatural. Brushing aside serious concern, it was assumed to be in part to something minor like asthma. But soon he would find out that wasn't to be the case. The weeks carried on and progressively, the issue continued to the point where he checked into the hospital, approximately around February 16th, 2015. Easy would spend around three days in the hospital before being released around February 19th. He was feeling better, doing well enough to even go directly from the hospital to the pharmacy to get medication, to the studio with his close friend and prodigy, BG Knockout. He said uh, Easy e was first admitted to Norwalk Community Hospital on 2695. Mm -hmm. He was released 21995 three days later because he didn't feel better. I was okay. So, okay, okay. So he was he came in 216 February 16th 95 was mm -hmm. released February 19th 1995. When he was in there for that that first time, he came straight from the hospital to the studio with me. Straight from the hospital from the hospital to the pharmacy to the studio with me. Over the next few days, Easy e would still have some easiness in his chest, as recalled by one of his artists, Frost. Easy e had informed him that he wasn't feeling too well and his chest was congested. So he's like, man, he, he's saying like, man, I'm not feeling that good. I got like a chest congestion. Around the 24th of February, Easy e was in the studio with BG Knockout and other associates working on their album. Easy e had a part to do before the album could be completed and turned in, but he wasn't in the recording room, so Knockout went to get him. He found Easy in the back of the studio in the hallway and had to go and come back about three times to speed up Easy to come inside. But Easy would just tell him, hold on, signaling he'll be there in a second. He was in the back of the studio, that little hallway. And um, I went out there like two or three times. I'm like, E, can you please come on and do your little part so we can turn this album in? He was like, hold on, hold on. Things would take a drastic decline the last time he went out to get Easy e BG Knockout found him wheezing heavily and drawing from his inhaler to try to clear his breathing passageway. He recalls as he and Easy e were conversing, Easy e began sweating profusely and his condition rapidly deteriorated to where he could barely speak. The last time I went out, he was wheezing real heavily mm -hmm. and he started hitting the inhalers. And as we were talking, he started sweating and his condition just progressively got worse. He can barely speak. It was about an hour and a half since being at the studio at the time. BG Knockout, realizing something was gravely wrong with Easy e and not simply asthma, called bodyguards to rush him to the hospital. Easy es lungs had collapsed. In about an hour and a half time of him being in the studio, his lungs collapsed. And then he was admitted back. That's when I told the bodyguards, you know, his breathing wasn't cool to come and grab him. And they took him and put him in a, in a car and drove him to the hospital. 
EZ was admitted to Cedar sinai Medical Center, and it would be there that the most traumatic news of his life was given. Doctors informed him he tested positive for acquired immune deficiency syndrome. At that time, no one knew, and everyone thought he was going to be treated for the congestion in his chest, and all would be fine. But approximately two weeks before the world found out, Cross called wind of what was wrong with Easy e because his girlfriend at the time was at the hospital and called him. What she told him on the call was that Easy e was placed on the acquired immune deficiency syndrome floor of the hospital. No one wanted to believe what he was saying, but soon it would be become evident that the information Frost got was correct. By March 16th, Easy e was in terrible condition. The decline of his health was crashing, so at a conference on that day, Easy e penned an alleged letter for his attorney, Ron Sweeney, to read to the public informing them of his situation and open up about his condition as a way to impact and inform the many youths that looked up to him and the severity of not protecting yourself against the disease. I would like to turn my own problem into something good that will reach out to all my homeboys and their kin because I want to save their asses before it's too late. The world was in shock. Easy e was dying before their very eyes, but his message opened the eyes of many of his fans to change their lifestyle and brought awareness to the disease. Are you going to change your behavior now because Most of this? Definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. Most definitely. It didn't take long before Easy e was completely immobile. The doctor would later reveal before a conference that the disease had reached a critical stage, to the point where Easy e contracted pneumonia and couldn't even breathe on his own and was paralyzed. He was placed into an induced coma to simply preserve what little life he had left. DJ Yella, a member of the group NWA, co-founded by Easy e recalled that after a risky surgery to clear his lungs, Easy e was induced into the coma. Right, because you went to go see him, he was already in a coma. Yeah, that was a uh, after the surgery. They were trying to do a surgery yeah. to clear his lungs or whatever it is, and they, they knew it, whatever it was, 50-50 chance that he can not come out of it. So they put him in a coma. He wasn't in a coma, they induced the coma. Induced the coma. His son, Little Easy e then 10 years old, recalled sitting outside seeing doctors rush in and out, working on his father seeing him hooked up to tubes, hearing the mourning of family members and medical machinery. For a procedure, and then when it goes into a procedure, I was actually right there. I can, like, it was like they opened that door and I can see. And like him pumping on his chest when he kind of went in and out, and doctors rushing in and out. And we went to see him earlier that day, which was a normal like it was. Then before you go to this procedure, or this um, to get fluid off your lungs, and then when he comes out, he's, uh, he has tubes in his mouth and he can't talk. However, around March 24th, news vans and camera crews were camped outside trying to get an update on the rapper's health. Rare footage would show an interview with his friend Big Reg, giving contradicting details that Easy e was off of life support and doing better and hoping for the best. I just left um, the ward up there with his mom, the minister, we had prayer. And then he's doing much better now, he's doing much better. Sadly, on March 26, 1995, Approximately 10 days after his attorney announced his condition to the world, Easy e passed away on his hospital bed. Rap singer Easy e has lost his battle with just 10 days after revealing that he had the disease. The doctor went on record to state that his passing was due to the acquired immune deficiency syndrome. But even darker times came after his passing because many came out stating their suspicions if Easy e did in fact pass away from the disease or if more importantly, the circumstances around how they claim he contracted it, because Easy e lived a promiscuous life, meaning he had 11 kids from different child mothers, not to mention other women he had intimate relations with outside of them. So the question was, how did Easy e have acquired immune deficiency syndrome, but not one of these people contracted the disease? Woman who's pregnant when you pass, and you have you had just had a then baby you got before a, you passed. You got side then women. you have then you have eleven other children. Then you got all these other side women who are your women. Yeah, I heard a new and kid. Not one person is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It appeared all of those who were close with Easy e disagree with the way he passed away, and instead felt like the rapid decline of his health was too swift and unnatural to a regular patient, and that if he did in fact have the disease, that there was foul play included to end his life. Yeah, and and it's just. And it's just ironic because, you know, I know people can live with HIV for years and look normal and look healthy, but, but when you're about to from 
full blown you're gonna look like you're gonna die from I've seen people that die from and they look like they have easy didn't look like that at all when he passed away it's like <clears throat> my chest hurt and then died of AIDS you know what I mean and it's like what happened to HIV what happened to actually you know having AIDS and then deteriorating like you just oh doc my chest hurt and then you like something could happen his son little easy e became an acquired immune deficiency syndrome activist after his father's passing to learn about the disease and spread awareness and help those suffering from the ailment. The more he walked this path and obtained a wealth of knowledge about the disease, the more he had doubts about his father's passing. Associated with individuals who run it, and these individuals who run these organizations are getting me to come out here and pay me to come talk or fly me out the country, are individuals who are living with full-blown you know what I mean? And, and just hearing their story and, and, and catching up on, on the facts of what's what and, and what you can do and how you can live, I still didn't understand about how my father was attacked so fast from it. The more time passed, the more suspicions arose about Eazy's passing. This became increasingly the case when it was found out that his girlfriend, who was pregnant with their child, Tamika Woods Wright, married Eazy E while he was in the hospital and was given control of his estate. That brought more problems of its own with people now pointing fingers at her, the attorney Don Sweeney, and others who were in the hospital room. This was due to the fact that the marriage angle didn't add up if Easy e was paralyzed and unconscious, etc. As the doctor claimed since March 15th, then how could he have consciously made the decision of marriage and given his now wife control of the estate and signing the will, even writing the letter to the attorney read to the public? What's more, from loved one's recollection, the marriage certificate didn't have Easy es handwritten signature, but it was typed on. Well, that lawyer is complicit in this in this case. That lady is complicit in this case. And some other people, yo. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, who knows? Wasn't nobody there. Wasn't nobody there, bro, to really know for sure. We know he couldn't write. He didn't sign his he didn't sign the marriage certificate. We know that. His name is typed on it. Everything kept getting even more eerie with more details. Little Easy E went on an interview revealing some of the doctors at the time could no longer be found. Signatures were fours, etc., which made the story of how Easy E passed away become riddling with plot holes that couldn't be filled logically. You got forged um, signatures. You got doctors who can't find right now. You got, you know death certificates that were altered, you know what I mean? You got all kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So, Abby, Easy es daughter, was adamant about the suspicion of her father's passing and did a deep dive research into what happened, from speaking with health professionals to persons around the hospital at the time. I have never believed the official story of my father's I have always believed that something else happened. It was then the things the family knew started becoming public. Apparently, they were at odds with Tamika because other than her family, it's alleged that the others only got $75,000 out of his $20 million plus fortune and then were cut off and not given anything. All his kids, aside from Tamika's child, who they had together, don't financially benefit at they all from this mistake. Not at all. At all. At all. A lot of things allegedly started being different than it originally was. For instance, it was first stated that the cause of his passing was cardiac arrest, according to BG Knockout. His certificates say cardiac arrest also. So why are they, why are they not saying he from cardiac arrest? See what I'm saying? Well, it don't say cardiac arrest due to a complications with the virus. It just says cardiac arrest. But then when Ebby later sought for his certificate, it was listed as pneumonia due to acquired immune deficiency syndrome. I just pulled it out, I know you can't see it, but I'm just gonna read it to you. So it says, immediate cause, pneumocystis carini pneumonia, due to acquired immune deficiency syndrome. This begs the question, was this the altered certificate his son, Little Easy E, was speaking about? You know, I never wanted to really do it. My sisters did, and again, you got forged um, signatures, you got doctors who can't find right now, you got, you know, certificates that were altered, you know what I mean? You got all kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So Easy E's child mothers got into a legal battle with Tamika and it alleged that the truth about Easy E's passing was being uncovered and was near being discovered. 
you know and then they just got out of like arbitration with Tamika you know Eric and some people in his family and a couple of people that I know and it almost came out the truth almost came out you know what I'm saying because it goes that deep and if the suspicions weren't already staggering an enemy of Eazy-E went on national television and said something that made everyone question if he was in fact the mastermind behind Eazy-E's passing. So they got this new thing out that people sell them all the time. They got this stuff to call, they get blood from somebody yeah. and then they shoot you with it. Oh, so well, that seems bad. Happen, that's yeah. a slow death. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Eazy-E thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Eazy-E and Suge Knight were at odds after Suge Knight stole his artist, Dr. Dre, and it nearly resulted in a bloodbath of retaliations. To try to destroy my record company with the help of others, Dre. So right now we're getting everything back together and we finna come out, you know, fully loaded. Hearing Suge Knight breaking down in detail how to kill someone by injecting them with acquired immune deficiency syndrome had many eyes his way. Knowing the ruthless person he was, it was believed by some that he was capable of doing it. BG Knockout would release the song In My Prime, where he also stands on that side of the fence, believing that Easy e was assassinated. Cross would later also reveal that he believed the tainted blood was transferred, stating the deed had to be done when Easy e went to the acupuncture and subliminally mentioned Shook's name, calling him evil. Is that someone, I won't say the name, but people know the name, I don't want to say that name yeah, because it's a it's name, but you know, another person in rap, if you know your history of rap, calls him a So if you know your history in rap or West Coast rap, you'll know who I'm saying. But I was told even in the last conversation from Easy not to even talk to that man. And not only that, but I think that they, they really had a stronghold of giving him tainted needles with, with, with the virus in them through acupuncture because Ebby would take this claim to a medical professional asking the question if the virus can be transmitted to someone in this manner. An answer left the room silent. These revelations placed Suge Knight high on the list of co-conspirators in Easy's passing, right along with another group speculated by some to be a suspect, the FBI. Given Easy es gang-fueled music and disrespect toward the cops with songs like F the Police, he was allegedly on the FBI's radar. This is, uh, frankly, offensive to me and uh, I think to any parent that uh, uh, would uh, hear uh, and would know what these lyrics are all about, they would find that it is nothing but filth. Easy es final interview, it was revealed that the KKK had a hit on his head and the FBI allegedly knew the information but refused to inform him his life was in danger. Easy e didn't doubt that they wanted him gone. But I didn't know that Easy e still may have been on the government's radar years after the incident. Those may hate you. Those may hate you. But when you hate them, then you destroy yourself. There have been theories and rumors for years that the government may have been involved in the of many rappers. But to hear Easy himself in the very last interview he gave talk about this makes me think that this is something we need to look into much further. Later on, a doctor and a specialist by the name of Dr. Wilbur Jordan was interviewed and stated that he treated two alleged women who claimed they contracted the virus from Easy e and they're still alive and well. During that time, we know that he had a number of other women in his life. So I just want to talk about them for a yeah, second. I have two of them my patients. Two of the women were your patients? Uh -huh. I just want to make sure I heard that correctly. Yes. Yes. One is still my patient. So they were indeed infected? Yes, oh yeah, they were infected. Okay, okay. Uh, Compton says that they got infected from him. It appears that the more the truth is sought after, the more the original story about his rapid decline of health, to be diagnosed with acquired immune deficiency syndrome and his passing becoming more doubted, and if in fact his passing was foul play, that's what those responsible was banking on. EZ had built something monumental, not to mention led one of the most pioneering groups in hip-hop history, N.W.A. The sad part is that even though the group fell out, months before he passed, they were reconnecting and reasoning out their grievances to reunite, but never got the chance. Rest in peace, the godfather of gangster rap, Eazy-E.